Okay, here we have a Dell A960 all-in-one printer. Today I'm going to go over real quick how to disassemble this so you can check the inside track for any jammed papers or whatnot. I purchased this one used and uh, got a good price for it at a uh, rummage sale, of course, and um, I could not get it to work constantly jamming. Uh, I did not see any uh, anything in there as far as paper that would jam. So now we need to take this thing apart and um, unfortunately Dell's tech support has not been very helpful with uh, any um, operation or maintenance manuals. Uh, nothing's really available to show you how to take this thing apart. I've already taken this thing apart so most of the screws and so forth have already been removed. So I'm just going to go through this real quick so you can see uh, step by step which parts need to be taken out and where they're located. First thing you want to do is over here in the back there's a little cover. You want to pry that off. That just exposes your cabling that goes from the top scanner to the bottom control board. You need a small Phillips screwdriver. You're going to find a screw in here, another one in here. You'll want to remove the two front screws. Once you have those removed, you want to turn this guy around. We'll need to remove the top cover. With the small flathead screwdriver, you'll want to pry these two apart on this side. Again on this side. Once you hear that popping noise, you can now lift the top head off the printer. Okay? Well, it's not going to happen that easily for you. But once you do remove the hinges here, On the sides, you'll find this piece here. You'll need to, with your thumb, stick it in your finger, put it inside, and pull it outward. You'll find one on each side. On this one, you might need to just use a screwdriver or something, but either way, they come outward. Once you unhinge them, you should be able to pull the whole thing out. Here, you'll find your ribbon and power cables. These ribbons don't lock in place, so it should slide right out. The ribbons will be attached to the control board, yellow, blue, orange, and then white. You want to gently slide those out with a uh, small screwdriver. They lift right out. Cables will be... The cables may be um, attached here. Simply lift it up, pull the cables out. On the other side, there's going to be a ground cable attached here. 